Hey fire signs, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel Fire Signs or Cross Watchers. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so fire signs, this is for October 30th through November 5th, give or take a couple of days. And the vibe for you guys this week, it feels like something is very much so intensifying. Okay. Something is intensifying. Um, it's getting better. I'm also hearing it's getting better with time. Maybe this is you. Okay. Maybe this is, um, some sort of connection, somebody you're tied to relationship. Something is just getting better fire signs. Um, and the songs that I got for you guys this week is Keeps On Falling by Ella May featuring Babyface um, and Splash by John Legend featuring Ty Dolla Sign and Janae Aiko. Um, and yeah, it just kind of could, I keep getting the energy of something. First of all, I'm hearing waist deep and I got that intuitive message for the water signs as well. So you could have water in your chart, be dealing with the water sign. Um, but it just really feels like something is getting better. Okay. Um, so yeah, or like you're, you're becoming more deeply involved. Something is getting deeper, like the depth of a connection. Um, or you could just really be like learning more about something, someone yourself. Um, I don't know. Something is, is definitely intensifying this week. So we're going to go ahead and hop into it, see what comes out for you guys. Um, and yeah, if you have not already, please like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more it puts your energy into these messages, fire signs, and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. So I don't feel like there's a need to keep shuffling. What just fell out for you guys is multiple streams, okay? Multiple streams, splash, okay? Also, like I said, something is intensifying here. Something is growing. It's coming a lot more abundant, whether this is within yourself or something you're working on external, um, externally. But multiple streams here is something about also about like um, your options. I feel like your finances is doing well or it's picking up or your abundance in general, the options that you have or something here is getting better. Like maybe you didn't expect much out of a particular person or situation, but it's like new perks, like you're learning more and it's just getting better for you by your sign. So let's see. Let's see what's at the bottom create and uh, progress. Yeah. So this could be like a creative project that you're working on. You could be your own project. You're working on yourself, your health, um, a, a specific skill or study here. Something has the potential to like bring in a lot of stability, whether that's financially, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. So I feel like spirit is wanting you to really um, tune in and focus on whatever this is for your signs. Okay. This could be like a random idea or like a random opportunity that's presenting itself to you. But something about this week, it's like, there's a lot of creative, uh, energy. There's a lot of creative juices that are flowing here and spirit is wanting you to take advantage of that. So let's move into the Oracle. Yeah. We also have sacrifices here. Let's see. And we have Stormy. So the letter S could be significant. I also mentioned that for the water signs. Um, but also the energy of Scorpio season is very transformative for you. So now is the perfect time for you to make some sort of drastic change, for you to really put in some sort of work, whatever this is you're trying to manifest, self, health, wealth, whatever. It is very a very high probability that it's going to work in your favor if you put in all of that energy and effort towards whatever this is this week, Okay. So let's move on to the Psychic Oracle, see what comes out for you guys. Um, and when I was shuffling the tarot cards, the death and rebirth card actually popped out for you. So that's Scorpio energy, which is the season we're in now, but that's all about transformation. Something's transformation like for your benefit. Something is, is very favorable is happening um, in regards to something that you're already investing your time and energy into this week fire sign. So let's see. Yeah, we got the universe. So this is good karma. Something is only a matter of time or um, it was only a matter of time. Like I feel like the work that you've been putting in or something that you're waiting for, that tower moment, that shakeup is going to happen. But it feels like a good change here. 
Libra um, energy. So Libra could be significant. I just saw the uh, material financial changes here. Yeah, look, and the transformation. Everything I just spoke on is coming back out. So, and then you have love begin. So this is could be actual relationship, but this is a very favorable, emotionally fulfilling, wealthy, healthy type energy that you're walking into. Something that you've always wanted. It's giving the energy of like the things, realizing that the things you've prayed for or something specifically you prayed for, you have now or is manifesting now. Um, it's in your energy. It's, it's your reality now. Okay. So let's see. Sacrifice. Okay. Again, you just had sacrifice in the other Oracle deck. Something here is a breakthrough. Patience. I feel like two water signs, you are being urged to, um, a lot of y'all are being urged to like Again, sacrifice. There's something that you have to sacrifice, but it's temporary. So maybe you have to like, you know, not go out, not spend this money, you know, um, not eat this type of food. There's something that it's like you may have to sacrifice something else or a part of yourself. But if you make this investment, okay, even if it's monetary, like it's going to prove to be well worth it. So let's see rest and rejuvenate or some of y'all are, are waiting on this return like you you're waiting on something to like um turn out the way you've desired and i feel like it's happening this week okay or if you initiate if you put in all the work this week it's gonna happen uh soon in the near future so let's see clarity oh in the near future there is a firm foundation okay something here is solid whether this is yourself your connection with somebody else, your partnerships and alliances. This is a very favorable um, offer, opportunity. This could be like a job offer or interview, a way to make some more money, a good connection, like networking, somebody that you're meeting, or there's a, there's a um, specific relationship or partnership that's already in your life that is building, is growing, it's becoming more solid here. Okay, whatever this is you're working on and you have moving on, okay? And at the bottom, we have balance. Okay. Yeah. It's like you're seeing something. You've been trying to build something. Okay. You've been trying to uphold something. Some of y'all are working on your body, your health here. Um, something is very secure. Your security, your home life, your family. And it's like you're finally seeing the results. Okay. You're finally getting clarity of whatever this is. Okay. I'm also hearing the sun will come out tomorrow. So it's like the sun is coming out. Leo energy, your energy. Balance. This is Libra, but this is also the magician. This is also Virgo and Gemini energy as well. But it's like you have all the tools to get something done or you've mastered something. You've accomplished something. You, you're very successful at something this week um, or the efforts, the investments again that you're making is going to get you to that point. It's like some is very close here. OK, heartache and loss, deception and envy, um, heart chakra, trapped in fear. But I feel like you you could be really in your head. You could be doubting yourself, doubting your judgment, doubting this connection, doubting this goal, doubting whatever this is that you're desiring to like manifest. Um, and spirit is wanting you to realize that you have everything you need. Okay. So don't get too in your head. Don't feel like, you know, if you just had this, if you just had that, like don't, um, open yourself up to that type of low vibrational energy fire signs. Cause it feels like you are on the right track. Okay, and just because something is not happening right now doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. Um, but you're very close. I feel like you've come too far to give up on yourself or whatever this is. And look at this accelerated motion. Something is picking up out of nowhere. And we have power. This is equivalent to the strength card. This is Leo energy again. Okay, double eights, 88 could be significant. Okay, um, or something about infinite, infinity. Something here um, is long term or it's kind of like. It's something here that's like it's taken care of or it's always going to be replenished for you. It's always going to work out. I'm also hearing like God will, al will always make a way for you. So like something here is just destined for you, fire signs. Um, and it's a need for you to hold on to that faith. Ooh, look at this. Hope. Okay. Um, somebody's name could be Hope. This is also Aquarius energy, but this is a divine alignment, divine gift. This is a lot of spiritual protection, favor, etc. that's coming in. And you see this is card number 17 breaking down to an eight. So you have eight, eight, eight here. Okay. Triumph also and victory and success is also what I just saw. So, um, the energy is good. Fire signs. Maybe y'all in your head, you're overthinking something. I don't know what it is, but it's just hella confirmation spirit wanting you to know that you're very close to something to just keep pushing. Okay. Judgment, very close. 
Usually judgment is like yesterday. Like it's already happened. It already belongs to you. It's already yours. It's already in your favor. Signed, sealed, delivered. Like it's already a given, whether you can see that or not, feel it or believe it or not. But this is also Scorpio energy, okay? And Aquarius energy, Scorpio season. Some sort of judgment is being called over your life this week. Some sort of favor, judgment um, is, is going... In your favor this week i feel like scorpio season as a whole fire sign is going to be very good for you guys especially if you have a uh, scorpio on your chart you know wherever you have it in your chart but yeah and look at this there's a new day new dawn new day the sun comes out tomorrow ten of swords it's about to be the end to some sort of worry some sort of struggle something is majorly paying off for you guys yeah especially with the two of wands it's like life as you know it is changing okay um, the devil card and whatever this, whatever has been keeping you trapped or a hold on you, um, it's over or it has very, like somebody, something's, whoever, whatever this is, the timing is limited. Okay. Over your life, over controlling you, over tainting whatever this is that's meant for you. Okay. 